This paper from Google DeepMind just did something amazing. It might just have given GPT-4 the ability to think. Now, I know that we tend to think of large language models as really smart because of what they can produce. But the fact is, as soon as we ask them a complicated question, their token prediction method is no longer an enough of a good tool to get the right answers. They lack the ability to think in a complex way, much like a human would. This paper promises just that. And all this improvement is possible through prompting. So when we ask ChatGPT something, we are using input-output. Basically, we input a task instruction and we wait for the output or the answer. If I want to learn how to code with the I.O. method, the prompt would be something like how to code or please, please teach me how to code. I don't know about you, but I'm always asking it nicely. We never know when the singularity will hit. This is the most common way to prompt and also the least effective. Then we have COT, chain of thought. And that's where we introduce some intermediary thoughts between the input and the output. And we can do this today just by adding to our prompt the phrase do this step by step or by adding an example on how we want it to be done. It forces ChatGPT to actually create a bridge between the input and the output. This bridge is formed by thoughts one leading to the next to reach a more coherent answer. But it might screw up in one of the steps and it will build upon the mistake and give the wrong output. Well, then we have something called COTSC, chain of thought, self-consistency where the model will create multiple chains of thought and vote on the best one to move to the next step. While this is an improvement, it's still a very linear way of thinking because even with its best effort, it can make a mistake along the way and it has to keep going. It doesn't have the mechanism to go back and try something else. That's where TOT, tree of thoughts, come into play. The model is capable of decision making. Usually, when we use a prompt, the large language model is predicting what the next token will be. This means the model starts to break down in tasks that require exploration, strategic look ahead, or where initial decisions play an important role. When you think about solving a problem for us lowly humans, we go step by step toward the solution and if we get stuck, we go back a few steps and we take a different path. And out of all the prompting techniques, TOT is the only one capable of looking ahead to anticipate future steps and backtracking to revisit previous decisions in order to make the best possible choices. And it does this in four steps. And if we look closely, it's very similar to how we would go about solving a problem. So step number one is the thought decomposition, breaking down complex ideas into smaller components and organizing them in a ranking structure, some parts more important than others. Each piece becomes a node in this tree forming relationships and dependencies. It helps analyze the logical progression of an idea. So no thoughts are formed in this step, just a breaking down and organizing. Then we need to start forming ideas. That's step number two, thought generation, the process by which the language model generates potential thoughts that will represent possible intermediate steps in the problem solving process. So partial solutions to the problem. The thought generator generates a set of thoughts that could potentially lead to a complete solution. These thoughts are generated based on the model's understanding of the problem. Now that we have a few ideas, we need to pick the best one. Step number three is the state evaluation. So here the language model evaluates different states or partial solutions so it can determine their potential usefulness in solving the problem. The state evaluator assigns a value to each state that represents its progress towards solving the problem. This helps the algorithm decides which states to explore further. And then the final step, which search algorithm to use. The search algorithm determines which states or partial solutions to explore and in what order, based on the value assigned by the state evaluator. Different search algorithms can be used within the TOT framework, depending on the structure of the tree and the nature of the problem. For example, breadth-first or depth-first search algorithms are common algorithms used for systemic exploration of the tree. They involve looking ahead and potentially revisiting previous steps to find the best possible solution. To showcase the model, they chose three tasks that are really difficult even for GPT-4, and they compared the results. 
These tasks require deductive, mathematical, common sense, lexical reasoning abilities, and a way to incorporate systematic planning or search. The first task is the game of 24. It's a mathematical reasoning challenge where the goal is to use four numbers and basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtractions, multiplication, and division to obtain the number 24. IO, COT, and COTSC prompting methods performed badly, achieving only 4% to 9% success rates. But TOT achieves up to 74%. The second task is creative writing. Here the input is four random sentences and the output should be a coherent passage with four paragraphs that end in the four input sentences respectively. So this kind of task is very open-ended and challenges creative thinking and high-level planning. And of course, we need a human eye to evaluate if the writing is good or not. Humans prefer TOT over COT in 41 out of 100 passages and 38 out of 100, they found them similar. So overall, they prefer TOT over COT. And the last game is a mini crossword puzzle. So in the game of 24 and creative writing, at most three thought steps are needed to reach the final output. But here we explore a 5x5 five five mini crosswords as a harder search problem involving natural language. The goal is to explore the limit of the language model as a general problem solver. COT prompting got a success rate less than 16%, while TOT significantly improves all metrics achieving a word level success rate of 60% and solving 4 out of 20 games. This is due to the fact that IO and COT lack mechanisms to try different clues, make changes to decisions, or backtrack. When trying to solve a problem, this model can self-evaluate different paths and assess their potential usefulness. By considering multiple options and making informed decisions, this model is able to perform more effective problem solving and make global choices that take into account the overall context of the problem. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.